Hi guys, I've had my um, Android TV box for a little while now and uh, initially uh, it's taken me a little while to get to know all the functions uh, and what you can do with it and since the instruction booklet only explained how to set up the, the hardware side of things I thought I'll make a video to explain the software setup side um, First of all, when you turn the box on um, you will be um, uh, asked a question and uh, what it is is that it's got two different launchers. One is called the Media Box Launcher and one is called the Ripple TV Launcher. Uh, it'll ask you which one you would like to be a home screen. Um, I'll go through both um, and you can decide for yourself. I must say at the time I have no idea what these are so I didn't know what to do. Uh, but I'll show you what they are and you can decide for yourself. So first of all I've got the Media Box Launcher set this is what it looks like and uh, from here you can see um, all your apps now not everyone on here that you can see actually presets because I've actually gone on sign in to uh, Google Play Store and installed a few that I, 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 I use so um, what I'll do um, uh, is uh, to have a look at how to sign in to Google Play Store so you can do that for yourself so to do that, you go into settings, other, more settings, and then down here, if you if you use uh, an Android device before, you'll be quite familiar with this screen. So you go down to the account section, accounts, and add your own Google account in there. And when you've done that, sign into Play Store here, and from here you can add uh, all the apps that you you like. Okay. Uh, initially, this bottom row here is, uh, is actually fairly empty, so I've set uh, those apps that you can see on there as my uh, most frequently used one. Uh, to add these under here, you go to plus. You allow one full row of uh, of apps, so it's full now. So if I let's say if I want to have um, um, email on instead, if I take off one put on the other, just click OK uh, to toggle on or off on your remote control, come back out and you can see that the um, uh, email is now one of my uh, um, uh, apps that it is on the home screen. Let's go back and uh, change it. Great, okay and in the settings screen uh, you also have access to uh, the network. You can choose whether to use Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Display, that's where you choose the kind of uh, display or monitor or TV resolution that you've got. And other, again, in more settings, that's where you set other things like Bluetooth, um, sound and, and uh, language input and uh, date and time, etc, etc. So this is what the um, the media box launcher looks like. Uh, Ripple TV. Ripple TV is your um, Kodi or XBMC um, streaming service platform. Uh, in here, you have access to uh, music and videos. Um, if you use this before, you know what to expect. Otherwise, um, uh, have a play around and uh, explore. There's plenty to uh, to do and uh, plenty of programs and to to watch. So videos add on, you have lots of uh, channels that you can use, uh, say Genesis, and you can have a look at uh, let's say TV shows and you can choose anything you want to watch. And from here to go into the settings screen, you go to Ripple uh, TV, advanced settings, here you're back to the same screen where you can uh, 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 set the uh, um, various things like we did earlier. Um, apart from Google Play Store, you also have uh, an option to access the App Toy Store. Um, I don't have an account with them. I tend to just uh, download apps from the Google Play Store. Systems, music. To go back to the uh, uh, Media Box uh, home screen you double click the back button on your uh, remote control. Once, press again to minimize, you come back here. 
So having been through these two launches, uh, I've used, I've decided to uh, go with the, the media box launcher as my home screen because from here I have access to these other apps that I uh, use and I can have access to Ripple TV quite easily as well. So hopefully this should set you up um, fairly basic but um, from here you can probably spend a bit of time to explore, explore all the other functions uh, that this um, uh, Android TV box has to offer. Really like it, spend many hours watching um, TVs and films already. Uh, I hope you uh, find this video useful. Thank you for watching.